in St. Louis, I read an article, and this article also comes with the Instagram live stream, and it's very disturbing. And I will actually have the link to it, in the, and I will also have a link to it in the description of the video. In this video, it shows a 12-year-old girl who fatally shot her 14-year-old boy cousin during a party they were having at an apartment complex in a bathroom. They were doing an Instagram live video and they had this gun with this drum on it. And they were trying to basically mimic some gangster type stuff because in the video she has this gun to the back of his head while they're looking in the mirror and saying I'll blow your top something of that manner and the gun went off and it shot her cousin he hit the floor she panicked dropped the gun she went down to pick the gun up and shot herself in the head as well and they both fatally came to their demise inside of that bathroom while the rest of the family was out inside of the rest of the apartment enjoying the party. They heard the gunshots, ran to the bathroom, saw these two young kids laying on the floor, deceased. And it's crazy. It's crazy, it's shocking, but it's also a teaching moment for us people. The teaching moment is you have to pay attention to your kids because at 12 and 14, you're still my kid. Yeah, I know society says that's a teenager, but a teenager is still a kid. And for one, I said, wow, how did they get a gun with a drum on it? Allegedly, it stated that the gun belonged to the 14-year-old. Okay, where did the 14-year-old get it from? But at the same time, we have to pay attention to our children, especially when you know they're trying to be something that they're not. Because as a kid, you might try to mimic things and be, yeah, trying to act like your older cousins or siblings, but that's not what you are because you're still a kid. And it's my job as a parent to protect that kid at all costs. And it's no way that that kid should have been in that bathroom with that gun because if I have an inkling that my kid is kind of acting wild, every time I get a chance, I'm going to be searching through their drawers, searching through their closet, under their mattresses, trying to see if they got drugs or guns inside my house. I'm going to be on them. And I'm definitely going to be paying attention to the company that they keep, whether the company is family members or friends. I'm going to definitely have my eyes on them at all times as much as possible. I'm going to be checking their circle, checking their friends, seeing who is who, seeing what kind of characters they're hanging around, seeing what kind of videos and music they listen to, seeing how they act as a person. Because you have to definitely know how your child acts as a person. If my son is running around here with his pants sagging, with his hat backwards, I'm on him. You're a kid. I definitely have to be on him. I'm not going to just let him freelance. That's not the way it goes. Because when you allow them to get too much rope, they end up hanging themselves. Like in this case in point. It just tells me that somebody gave them too much rope. And that's not me to uh, talk down on the parents because 
those are not my kids and I'm not that parent. Because she maybe could have been that way. And maybe she let up because they're at the party, okay? We're having a party. It's a family gathering. I'm going to let you kind of freelance. But at the same time, that gun with that drum is pretty big. There's no way you could have had it on you. Because I would be wondering, why is your shirt bulky? If we just go into the party and you got your bags... And like I say, and I know you're a little hard here, I'm going through your bags. But it's a sad thing that happened, family. It's, it's a very sad thing. I give my prayers to that family and to those two young kids that lost their life. But it's a bad thing and we have to do better. We have to teach our kids as well that guns are not toys. They're not nothing to play with. Why you think you have to take a safety gun check test before you can own a firearm? Because it's going to have some rules in there for you to follow. Because you notice the little girl, which she shouldn't have had a period, but even while they was doing this little makeshift trying to be super cool video, she had her hand already on the trigger. Her finger was on the trigger when they was in the mirror doing the video. That's how the gun went off. Because she knew nothing about guns. Nobody taught her about the danger of guns. And sometimes you just have to even do that. Take your kid to the range. And let them know how dangerous a gun is. And also you should have, guns should have the safety locks on it. It's no way you have kids at that age, if it was one of the uh, family members' guns, that they should have access to it. From looking at the mother on the news, I pretty much could say I don't believe that she would have a gun like that. That looks like a gun that one of these young little want to be gangsters would have with the whole drum trying to look like they put it in the world. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But for it to end up in a kid's hand at that age is bad. And if it's one of the family members or siblings, if they have older siblings, if it's one of their guns, they definitely should be feeling the wrath. But yeah, this is a sad story, family. And like I said, I have the link to the video in the description. And it's pretty graphic, but I think it's worth watching. And if you have young kids that are coming up, it's worth even showing them and educating them about you see what wanting to be a little thugster would get you. And showing them, hey, this gun, these guns are dangerous. They kill people. People kill people with guns. Especially in ignorance. Because that was in total ignorance. We know she didn't know nothing about one. Yeah, it's a video, but she wouldn't have had it pointed at his head. But with that family, I just want to give my prayers and blessings to that family. Because I know they're going through it right now. And I also want to give my educational advice to everybody else to have young kids. You pay attention to your kids. Especially when they look like they're trying to get into that street life. And you still continue to check their rooms and check their dresser drawers and their closets. And their pockets if you have to. And because you're responsible for your kids. We're responsible. I'm not responsible for your kids because you might not like the way that I do things, but you are definitely, as a parent, responsible for your kids' safety. And you have to be on them. You can't let up. Yeah, it gets you weary sometimes when you 
dealing with a hard head kid because I was a hard head kid, but you have to stay on them. You can't let them wear you down. You have to wear them down. But it is your job to definitely protect them. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south. Unite from every alley in Cali. Intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm not who you think I am. Your perception is a lesson with a fail grade on it. Yeah. Steady living life like I would never see the morning. True shit, man, I'm more than pain, I'm more than stain on sidewalk. I'm more than black skin on my face, destined to be great. Gotta elevate, mind elevation is the game that I gotta play. Gotta win, gotta find escape to a better day.